Today we got to drive the brand new uh, A4, Audi A4 Quattro. As soon as I sat in, in the A4, I was just blown away by all of the, the different screens and the different features and functions right in front of me. You sit in this car and you know it is, this is the cutting edge you know, of car tech. My favorite feature of the new A4 is the virtual cockpit dash. What people like about tech is the ability to personalize and customize. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about this is you can make the dash how you want it and the graphics are top notch. The video cards are actually made by Nvidia. That's right, and Nvidia is an absolute master at graphics. So it's really great to see that Audi has used one of the best in the business. Audi's always been really tech focused. I mean, it's part of their sort of part of their moniker and uh, I think they're really leading the charge. It's kind of the minimalist controls too. I think is really good. I love that MMI touch as they call it. The fact that you just use your finger as a little stylus. I mean, you can, you can enter text that way or you can do it with voice or you can just use the wheels. So, you know, I think that's really important. On the outside, the styling's evolutionary. It's just a progression of the previous uh, shape, but under the skin, it's a completely new car. And there's so many tech features on this car, which is really quite staggering when you think about it. There's all these driver assistance features to make it uh, not only safer to drive, but just easier, more convenient. They've got something called uh, traffic jam assist. Traffic jam assist basically means that when you lock onto the car in front of you and sort of keep a set distance, oh. Fantastic. And you also got uh, what they call turn assist. So for example, if we were turning, someone was coming at you, it gives you a warning. And if, and if you do nothing about it, I'll actually apply the brake. There's also the converse of that. If you um, try to reverse into traffic because you haven't seen them, again, firstly an audible warning. And then if, if you do nothing about it, it'll actually apply the brakes and stop you from smashing into that uh, car behind you. The priority when it comes to technology in cars, I think should be safety first and foremost. Uh, because obviously if we can save lives, if we can prevent mistakes, if my car will break for me before I need to, um, that matters the most. There's a piece of tech in this car that I absolutely love and that's um, what's known as exit warning. It'll warn me that I'm opening a door to a cyclist path or something like that. E exactly right, yeah. You've even got ultrasonic se sensors that you use for the parking. To combine all of the information that's been gathered um, all the time takes a huge amount of processing power. I mean, that's what amazes me about um, you know, the A4 and like I'm driving right now and there are probably hundreds of thousands of processor cycles ticking over right now. This car is thinking, it's adapting, you know, it's rainy out here. It, it'll you know, help me stay on the road if it gets slippery. All of that stuff is just about making our you know, experiences safer and better in our cars. I think it's really important that car companies give consumers choice around the technology that they might be using. Everything's connected, you know, your smartphone's connected, or if you're using Google online, you can send that information to the car. So, you know, Audi's really caught up on that and they're you know, pretty much leading the way now. So, in addition to the actual um voice control so Siri comes through that as well yeah you can you can use Siri and you know Siri is Apple's best um, bet at a virtual assistant using natural language processing so if you want to use Siri to, to look up things uh, to check your schedule you can tap into all of that and that's the whole idea behind integrating these systems into your into your car is because you have a lot of you know schedules and data in your phone and it's a great way of sharing it with um, you know this whole auto, auto ecosystem the best uh, sensors, the best programs are the ones that are really intuitive and that's the best thing about this is that uh, whether it be Android Auto or Apple CarPlay or whatever it is if you want to do, it's, you don't really need a, a three hour lecture to use that stuff. I suspect that a lot of the tech that uh, is in this new car that a lot of people think I don't really need that, I'm not missing it. Once you then have it, I think you would uh, really you know, feel as though you could never live without it. Absolutely. Well, fast forward a few years, it's like, what, your car doesn't have GPS? What, what kind of relic you know, is, is Exactly that? right. Despite the fact that this new A4 has got this, all this amazing tech, uh, just as importantly, it's really good fun to drive. Now that I'm driving, we get to talk about the engine <laughs> and then the performance of the car. This is a um, two-litre turbo quattro, four-cylinder, two litres, four-cylinder. 185 kilowatts. So uh, yeah, you've got a zero to 100 time in this thing of 5.8 seconds. Jeez, that's pretty amazing for you know four cylinder. Quattro is Audi's permanent all wheel drive. It's integrated with every other sort of driver aid that you've got, things like stability management and traction control. Um, and yeah, and it sort of apportions the torque 
um, accordingly. So it's perfect on a day like today where it's pretty rainy and we've got some nice curvy roads coming up. It gives you that extra confidence, I guess. Um, and it, it, like it's amazing, again, how quickly um, these systems can detect and compensate. So, you know, you're going into a bend and next thing you know, it just knows instantly pretty much. Yeah, um, one of the great things with the new A4 is that it's got Audi Drive Selector standard. You've got to love rain sensing wipers, don't you? Yeah. I don't have to uh, do anything. Auto, auto headlights, auto wipers, love it. Shouldn't have to think about any of that stuff. That's what I want technology to do, just to do the thinking for me. I can drive, <laughs> relax. I love driving today with Val and uh, it's always great to see a different perspective. He's such a tech orientated guy and he's got such deep knowledge of uh, what's out there in the market. So yeah, it was great fun today. This car is definitely more than what you see on the outside. I mean, it's a very nice, elegant looking car, but you get inside and, and everything's different. Everything is, you know, technologically focused on this side and beautifully designed on that side. I think that people will be, you know, surprised, pleasantly surprised when they get inside this car and try it out. Hey Siri, which is better, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto? You choose. Oh, oh very diplomatic. Yeah. <laughs> Pin your colors to the Mars, Siri.